everyone it's Jaden and welcome back to another musical make so I've actually already finished this piece but I forgot to film the intro before I started so I'm doing it right now but this musical make is going to be inspired by Metallica's Enter Sandman and the piece will be a watercolor piece I've been wanting to do um, different artworks based off of different songs and just kind of like the lyrics and stuff like that and kind of like give the song a scene I guess you could say you know just kind of like what it makes me think of and so the first piece I decided to do that for is like I said or the first song that I decided to do is like I said based off of Metallica's Enter Sandman which is my favorite Metallica song and I don't care if that's like such an obvious answer or just you know or you know, don't seem like a real fan or whatever because the song's really popular. The song is just too good. So I, of course, had to make a piece based off of it. But anyways, let me stop rambling and let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna start this piece off with a little bit of some real time painting. Like I said, this is a watercolor piece as one that is inspired by Metallica's Enter Sandman. I, if you saw the little coffee and create or I was doing the sketches, I had originally planned on doing this piece on a canvas panel. However, I decided it would look a lot better in watercolor, so I had to redo the sketch and all of that jazz. Um, if you saw that video, also would have heard that I took a reference of myself for this piece so I so I could get the pose right for not only the little kid clutching the teddy bear as well as the mysterious figure that is going to be behind him. Right now we've gone into the time lapse just because this piece took quite a while. I had to build up the colors a lot. I think some of them could have been a lot darker than that then they came out excuse me like stumbled over my words because it's supposed to be like at night you know he's been you know he can't sleep because there's this thing behind him and i don't know if i got like the lighting for it right like i think it probably should have been darker and stuff but i was also afraid to like mess it up to the point where it was like too dark if you know what i mean and like you couldn't see like the like different the features and stuff like that so yeah so it might not be accurate all right so this is the second musical make that i am going to be posting right after well it wasn't right after but the very first one i did was the spider punk painting so this one is next i have another one currently in the works i am actually almost done with that piece which i'm very excited about it's taken me a while i have also done another musical or a piece that could be considered a musical make. However, I um, did not film a video for it. I was, and then I was having like so much trouble getting the piece started that I got like really annoyed and frustrated that I ended up just like not filming any of it. But I'll include a picture of it right now. That particular piece is inspired by Motley Crue's Smoking in the Boys Room. I'll have a TikTok of it posted on my TikTok over there if you just kind of want to check it out. I did take a few short little clips of me doing like some little painting for it, but that's about it. I actually posted a TikTok for this piece and I have also posted a picture of it on Instagram. So if you follow me over there, you would have already seen the finished product. But this is going to be like me having like a little bit of a fangirl moment. But I really like Fundy Fridays. I like to watch their videos when I'm working on pieces and stuff like that because I think that they're super interesting and I just love them. And they actually ended up liking the TikTok for this video and I honestly, or for this piece, not this video, and I honestly couldn't believe it. I had like a little fangirly moment. I was like so excited about it. But yeah, that was pretty cool. So as you can see right now, I've been going back and forth between working on the boy as well as working on the teddy bear. I'm quite happy with how the teddy bear came out. I like the texture that I gave to represent its fur. I think it looks quite nice. But one of the things that I really need to remember to do this when I do like watercolor pieces with this coal erase pencils is I like really need to um like run like a kneaded eraser over them or do something along those lines 
because that way you won't be able to see like the purple lines as you can see like around the boy's chin and his eyes and his arm and stuff like that i think it can look pretty cool sometimes though i just i wish i would have remembered to do that and then like once you kind of put the watercolor down on top of it it kind of just seals it in so you can't really race any of it which kind of sucks but you know i deal with it it's my fault that i didn't think of lightening it up but anyways you can see now that i've switched to a smaller paintbrush so i could get the details in the folds of the pillow i've mentioned this before but like fabric is always something that i really really struggle with to not get it to look strange i don't think i did too bad with this one i'm not 100 percent sure but yeah, I actually used this piece as one of the portfolio pieces for my for college. I am, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I need at least 12 pieces. I have 11 done. The musical make that I'm working on at the moment is going to be the 12th, but I have at least two other pieces that I would like to include because you can have up to 16. So I'd hope that I could get those done. One of those would be the Muse's Revenge, which you saw me sketch out in the last Coffee and Create, if you watched that. And then there is another piece that I am going to do. I believe I have also meant, I may have mentioned this in that last Coffee and Create. I honestly can't remember. But, or I don't know when I mentioned it. Maybe I didn't at all. Maybe I'm just getting things wrong. But it's like a like 80s like movie rental kind of drawing where it's like a slow day at work and like the two co-workers are just like one's napping and the other one's like painting her nails and on the phone and I thought that would be a fun little piece where I could get a lot of details in it. I plan on doing watercolor again for that piece as well as doing like certain details with colored pencil and I think it can come out really nice. Um, in terms of musical make I have or other musical makes I have a couple more sketched out or like I have the idea sketched out. I have some more of like the comic book themed ones already on canvases and they've actually been on canvases for a while. I just actually need to paint them. And I sketched out one last night just in my little designing sketchbook to see how I'd like the piece to be. That one would be inspired by Van Halen's Hot for Teacher which I think would be an interesting one. And I like the sketch. I think it would really just get the meaning of the song, you know, across. And yeah, I say yeah and all right a lot. I apologize if you might find that annoying, but I kind of struggle with like segueing into something else that I want to talk about. But right now I'll talk about the poster that I included on the kid's wall. I wanted to like include like the band or like the artist that the piece is about in some way without just like writing like Enter Sandman at the top and like Metallica at the bottom. So I decided to do the poster of the Black album, which is the album that Enter Sandman is on. In the Motley Crue piece that I showed, you might have noticed the um, Motley Crue like graffiti on the bathroom stall, as well as the little Tommy was here because Tommy was the name or is the name of the drummer of Motley Crue just to have little references to those bands. The musical make I'm currently working on, I have some CDs of the band that um, that is the group who sung the song that I based that piece off of. And of course, there will be references to Van Halen and that piece that I had mentioned working on. Right now, I moved on to the walls. I kind of got through this piece pretty quick, or at least kind of like the background, as well as the figure who I really struggled with. I wanted them to look a bit more creepy and stuff like that, but I just, I don't know if I did a really good job with that. I also think I should have made the walls darker because in the end, I don't think they're dark enough, but I was too afraid of having like the figure blend in too much as well as like the little boy. So I was trying to be like really careful with like details like that, but yeah. Since this musical make is related to Metallica, I was wondering if any of you listened to Metallica or maybe had, you know, like a fake song or anything along those lines. Like I said, I really like Enter Sandman. It is just such a great song. I remember when I asked my uncle, who's a really big fan of Metallica, what his favorite song was. 
He's like, you know, I hate to say it because it seems like such like a basic answer, but it's Enter Sandman. Because it's just, I don't know, just something about the song. It's just so, so good. And I just, I absolutely like love rock and roll or like metal and, you know, all the different like genres that fall under rock and stuff. So yeah, just really like it. But anyways, I guess as you can see right now, I'm working on the background. Another issue that I had with the background besides like trying not to make it too dark was also like some streakiness and stuff like that you see right now i'm trying to darken up the figure just so again so it doesn't blend in i think his fingers on like the side what was it be on like the right side like really look um like they blend in too much with his body and i wish i kind of like would have fixed that a little bit better but i did not i think one of the like fingers i think it's supposed to be like his thumb got like really like blended in like way too much like i think i accidentally like covered it up and it like the um watercolor wash that i put down was like way too dark to try to lighten it in any way which is a little frustrating but again it's just one of those things you can't really do anything about it and fix it up so you just kind of got to deal with it um as you can see i'm starting to add some more details to the wall trying to get some more shading and stuff like that in and again also darkening it more to make it look like it is nighttime again i could have done better on that end but like i said before i was just trying not to make it too dark so that everything just kind of blended together but anyways here is the finished piece zooming in to show you guys some close-up of the metallica poster which i kind of messed up a little bit i feel like close-up of the kid who i'm really happy with how his face came out as well as the teddy bear i really really like the teddy bear and then moving on to the dark spooky figure behind him and here's the finished piece anyways thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you have an absolutely amazing day